What's going on, y'all? How's everybody been doing? So today we're gonna talk about the different line haul positions that we have here at Southeast. Now, it's gonna vary depending on the terminal. Um, so some of the type of runs that I list, um, you may not have at your local service center. Uh, I run out of a pretty big uh, term. I run out of West Atlanta. So one of the biggest um, that we have, not the biggest, but it's up there. Um, Lots of runs, lots of line haul drivers. So needless to say, we do have uh, both day runs and night runs and pretty much run 24 seven. Um, so let me go ahead and just say this. If you're somebody that wants to run days, uh, you might want to look into a terminal that has both uh, night and day runs. Also, if you're somebody that has to be home every single day, this may not be the company for you. Um, I'm gonna put it like this. If you're somebody that absolutely has to be home every day, no matter what, I recommend you do P and D where you're a city driver and you're home every day. So uh, the first type of run you have are your fast turns. That's exactly what it is. You go somewhere, it could be a midpoint or it could be a terminal. You go there, turn back, and then you know, you're done. Um, we also have fast turns where you might run wild coming back. For example, we have two Knoxville runs. Uh, one of them, he goes to Knoxville and he comes straight back. The other one, he goes to uh, Knoxville and he runs wild coming back. So when you bid, you know, it's gonna say wild back. So with that run, you know, he might go to Dalton or he might go to ATB on the way back. So the point is, They'll send you anywhere, any terminal that's within, you know, within, basically any terminal that you might pass on the way back, they might send you there. Um, the next type of run we have are two and a half. So you have two and a half wild and you have two and a half scheduled. Now we do have bids coming up, so it's a good chance I might um, end up being a two and a half instead of a vacation driver. Uh, not sure yet, we have to see bids. We still got at least three or four weeks before bids come up. Um, but yeah, so the first one we have is two and a half scheduled. So for example, we have a West Atlanta to Richmond. Now run like that, you're basically gonna be home every other day. Um, so you might fast turn Monday or you might fast turn Friday. Now, as far as your layover schedule, you might lay over Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Thursday. Now, of course, when you bid, you know, you'll know early on how your schedule is going to work. Now, we have two and a half wild. Uh, basically, what that is, you run wild. You don't know where you're going um, until you get to work. So, you always got to have a, um, a bag with you. Um, same concept. You might fast turn Monday or Friday. Um, and yeah, just know you're gonna lay over twice a week. All right, the next type of run we have are three twos. You have three two schedule and you have three two wild. Now currently, we don't have three two wild. We only have three two schedule. So three twos are basically, you're gonna work six days, one week, and then the following week, you're gonna work four days. So I'll give you an example. We have two guys that go down to West Palm. That's exactly 601 miles. So the way that work is, the way it'll work is one guy will start Sunday, the other guy will start Monday. Uh, so essentially you'll cross paths. You'll never both go down at the same time. And then West Palm has two drivers as well that'll come up. One guy will be in West Atlanta. The other guy will be heading up, um, if that makes sense. So. Again, basically six days, one week, four days the following week. Um, and I mean, I guess the good part about that is, you know, every other Friday you'll be off, but you'll have to work every other Sunday. So that's that. Uh, the next type of run we have are system drivers, basically extra board. You're out Monday through Friday, um, basically going wherever they need you to go. You're going to run the system, run within the region. Um, and yeah, you'll pretty much stay in hotels or bunk houses all throughout the week. Next type we have are vacation replacement drivers. That's currently 
what I am. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there. You don't necessarily have to be new to be a vacation driver. We have drivers that have been there for a good little minute and they just prefer, you know, to be a vacation driver. Nothing wrong with that. Um, the only downside to that is you don't get an assigned tractor. To me, that's really not a big deal, but um, with a vacation replacement driver, you'll basically cover, if somebody's on vacation or whatever the case may be, you'll cover their run, you'll drive that person's assigned truck, and if you're not covering somebody's run, you'll basically run a two and a half wild. Um, so yeah, that's basically how that works. Um, the next type of run we have are teams. Now, we have, my turn, we have a lot of different team runs. We have nine teams. Um, so basically what that is, you could be either scheduled, for example, we'll use, um, we have a team, I think two teams that go to Fort Worth and then from Fort Worth, they go straight down to Orlando and then straight back up to West Atlanta. So that's an example of a team bid. We also have wild teams that don't have an assigned run. They go basically wherever uh, Central needs them to go. And then the next type of team we have is vacation replacement teams. Now, we have currently, well, we had two, but since nobody wanted it, they added, um, they took away one of the vacation teams and added four two and a halves, which I'll probably end up getting one of those. I'm not sure yet. We'll just have to see how that plays out. So vacation replacement team is essentially the same as a solo vacation replacement driver. Um, so like, let's just say a team, both of them go on vacation, the vacation replacement team would fill in for that run. Now, let's just say there's nobody on vacation. There's no team on vacation. Then that team would pretty much just run wild, just like a wild team would. Um, and I guess I can mention we have combo. Combo drivers are essentially P and D drivers. They run off the P and D seniority. They'll basically do a small run, for example. Um, we'll use a run. We have a guy that goes to uh, Pell City and he'll basically meet a, uh, a Memphis driver. That run is only like, I think a hundred miles, something like that. He'll turn back. Now, some of those drivers, um, I guess they all do different things. Some of them, I guess, work the city prior or after, but basically they're P&D drivers that do a small line haul run. Um, and yeah, if I didn't already mention, these runs are going to vary. Every terminal isn't going to have all the runs that I listed. For example, um, we don't have three, two wilds and we don't have system. Um, but you might go to a terminal and they might, but the point is each terminal is going to vary. Some terminals are going to have day runs. Some won't, uh, pretty much all runs get an assigned truck, except if you're a vacation driver, you don't get an assigned truck. You just drive that person's tractor when they're out. Um, and yeah, so those are pretty much all the runs, the type of runs that we have at uh, here at Southeast. So um, yeah, I hope this information helps give you a better understanding of how we operate over here. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And as I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy and y'all stay safe.